okay so i just wanted to show how i was doing my maintenance on my v400 so i've got the grease the allen wrench and a belt tensioning gauge and some um alcohol wipes so with the machine off first thing i'm going to do is get this down out of the way a little bit because the first thing i'm going to do is put a little bit of grease into these arms so i'm just going to pull these arms apart carefully okay so I just unattach this one arm i'm just going to put a little tiny bit of grease in there okay and the same of them all i'm just going to do them one at a time okay so that's them three uh, these tops I didn't do, so I'm just going to put a little bit on here. What I find the easiest is hook it over one end and then like pinch the round and pull it. The next thing I'm going to do is grease in these rounds. And I'm going to grease this rail at the back, you can see down here. Hopefully you can see this roller. Yep, so you want to get some grease in either side up here in this little V-slot on all three sides where that rolls. So I'm going to do that now. And as well, without hitting anything else, I'm going to put a little bit on that bearing and a little bit just on the front of this bearing, not on the wheel at all. Just right, yep, just right down there. So I'm just going to fit it between the two belts and just put it a bit of an angle not forcing the belt and just run out a line of it down the back there once you put it up I put a bit more down the bottom where I haven't been out of reach all right so you can see in there hopefully I'm gonna do the same on the three rails okay so I just finished greasing the rails I'm gonna wipe my hands off on a cloth so I don't get this grease what was on my fingers anywhere lift this back up and then the next thing is to check these belts i just printed one of these so yeah you just got to get it in there correctly you just got to bend it a bit really to get it in there see i'm happy with how this belt is the tension of it and it's on the third little dot so what i'm going to do is just put it on these other belts make sure it's the same also on the third dot so happy with that one i've got a feeling this last belt is a little bit loose because it, it was humming a bit it kind of go you kind of hear a bit of a humming noise coming from it if you hear that i believe that's the belt because it seems whenever i've got a loose belt that's the kind of noise i'll be getting so yeah could do with a tiny little tighten up here so and you can see on this belt gauge it's only on the second one so all I'm going to do is, with the allen wrench, I'm going to make sure these bottom ones are tight. I'm going to loosen these two top ones off just by giving them a little twist. You don't want them all the way off, you just want to loosen them a bit. And then this underneath will allow you to tighten or loosen the gauge. So yeah, I can feel the tensions better there already. You can see now. Well, hopefully you can see now it's right up to the number three and this belt's got much better tension on it so now i'm happy with where that is just going to retighten these two back up take my gauge back off but yeah if you use a gauge it's easy to make sure they're all the same then so if you need to clean up anywhere like in the extruder or anything just have a look up there and check see how bad it is mine ain't really too bad i do give it a wipe off with the lens wipes and now i just use a alcohol wipe just to wipe everything over The next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be changing my nozzle. I'm going to do that in a different video. 
Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. And if it helped you out, please like and subscribe. And I'll be putting out more videos as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Thank you.